In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 10, Section 3, Note Calculator. We're in the middle of the section, questions 10, 11, and 12. All right, let's take a look at problem 10. The graph of y equals 2x squared plus 10x plus 12 is shown. If the graph crosses the y-axis at point 0k, what's the value of k? And so this question, just it's really very straightforward because what are they asking for? Where it crosses the y-axis, right? At 0k and so they're not asking for the minimum then you have to find this point right that would be the vertex but they're just asking where it crosses the y-axis and all you really have to do here is set the x's to 0 right we put a 0 in here a 0 in here and that's it the y-intercept is 12 so again a pretty basic question if they had asked though for the minimum or the vertex then you'd have to find that and that takes a little bit more work all right let's take a look at question number 11 a circle in the xy plane has center 5 7 and radius 2 which of the following is an equation of circle so one equation it usually comes up almost every test one time you have to know is the standard form for the equation of a circle and i'll just review it with you here it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared all right so this is the form it had these are perfect squares and this is the center this is the x coordinate this is the y and it's the opposite sign so if it were like x minus 5 squared it'd be positive 5 it, if it's x um, plus 5 it'd be negative 5 it's sort of like the vertex form for a parabola and um, this is the radius squared. Now sometimes it's not in this form and then you have to complete the square and put it. That's a little bit more of an advanced problem. But here, if you notice, all the answer choices have this form. And they're just asking which equation and they're telling us the center is five, seven radius two. So remember, it's the opposite sign. So x minus five, positive five, right? That's what we're looking for. And here we're going to be looking for y minus 7 squared. All right, and so we have that choice in A, and we have that choice in C. And remember, radius squared is 2. And so the radius is 2, r squared, it's going to be equal to 4. And so the answer here is A, you really just have to know that formula for that problem. So not quite as advanced where you have to complete the square. And let's do question number 12. In the figure above, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. What is the value of the cosine of E? Similar triangles, that means that all the interior angles are the same. And it doesn't mean the sides are the same, but it's the same ratio. Remember, similar problems are ratio questions. That's all it is. And so you should recognize right away, they don't really give us any of the sides of DEF, but because it's similar to ABC, the cosine of E is going to be the cosine of B, right? Because of similar triangles. And so maybe one trig question you'll see. Uh, sometimes it's a basic SOHCAHTOA. And so I'll just write out the mnemonic SOHCAHTOA. And so we're solving for cosine, right? That's the, the C. And so that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent, here's B. Obviously there's two adjacent lines, but it's the adjacent side that's not the hypotenuse. So that's gonna be 12 over the hypotenuse is 13, right? Toa, or uh, sorry, <laughs> it is 12 over 13. And so the answer here is B.